Hello and welcome back to Casual Chef's Kitchen on this wonderful Wednesday. During my morning brief message, I kind of basically described that I had a very simple sauce for tonight's stir fry. So I did a bit of research, looked at several different sauces, and I basically came up with my own based on looking at other recipes. So let's get to it. First, I'm gonna, let me switch cameras. It's been a while. We're gonna start with low sodium soy sauce, rice vinegar, non-seasoned, hoisin sauce, lemon juice. I'm borrowing my wife's lemon juice. And I'm also borrowing her honey. My wife has a very large honey stash. She loves it. We will also be adding, this is pureed ginger, my garlic stash, some corn flour or cornstarch, depending where you, what part of the world you're in. And just a little bit of red pepper flakes. And these are from India. By the way, this is what I have turned to. I have discovered this great little tube of ginger paste. Yes, I'm starting to use because part of it because I'm lazy. <laughs> yes, the casual chef can be lazy, but this is a wonderful little product. It works very well. Look for it in your produce department. Buy your 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 fresh herbs. Okay. Enough enough for the commercial. So let me get things moved around here. I've got a two cup measuring cup. This is what I like to mix in. I don't like to mix in bowls. I like to I like the high walls of a measuring cup. So one of the first ingredients I need is again low sodium soy sauce. Whoops, there it is. Low sodium soy sauce. I like to use low sodium soy sauce because I am able to control the sodium, aka the salt, not just in the sauce, but in the entire dish. Yes. So I need all right, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pop the stopper out of that. So I'm gonna add that to that, to the two cup. Let me put the plug back in. Clean up my, my spot. Now, I need two tablespoons of, this is rice and vinegar, but this is a non-seasoned. There are two or three different versions of rice vinegar in your, in your, in your, in your Mega Marts. This is a non-seasoned. So if you're, if you're buying rice vinegar, make sure you buy the, the not seasoned. So there's two, done with that, and I'm going to shake this, this is the hoisin sauce, I'm actually going to 
There we go. I actually used the measurements on the measuring cup. Clean this up a little bit. Clean that up. We're gonna put in the red pepper flakes. Now we got lemon juice. I'm gonna always shake things up. Make sure they're, 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 they're stirred. And I only need a, basically a teaspoon. If you notice, I over pour, I over pour things. Just to be safe. Now, some people say, you know, on a lot of these bottles, they have like little squeeze tops. I just, I just pull them off. The honey, which also can be replaced by maple syrup. This is the kind of a, this is basically a local honey that, that Robin picked up. And this is an orange blossom honey. So I don't like to use the squeeze. I just like to basically, depending on how sweet you want your sauce. That was a good dollop. And clean up the area. I'm gonna add garlic. And the ginger. And we just, I'm gonna take just a simple fork and start stirring this up. Oops, got a little, little overflow there. Let me clean up my mess. Whoop. So I'm going to stir this up really good. Now it's basically basic around noon as I am now doing this live and this recording. And I'm going to add it's funny, in the UK, they actually call this corn flour. We here in the United States call it corn starch. So as we all know, that corn flour, AKA corn starch, is a thickener. I'm going to add it, and I'm gonna mix it in. But when I actually prepare dinner, with Glennis later on this evening, I'm gonna to have to really stir this up again because what's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is the cornstarch, no matter how much I mix it here in the two cup measuring cup, it's going to settle to the bottom. So you can either add it now and truly have to mix it up before using it with the, with the stir fry. Or you can add the, the corn flour or AKA corn starch before you actually use it with your stir fry. So I'm just doing it just for, for presentation purposes. So this sauce will go into the, to the cold box until I need it later on this evening. I will post up this recipe for this very basic and easy um, stir fry sauce. It works great with beef, it'll work great with pork, it'll work great with chicken and veggies. So have a great day. 
eat great food, and have fun cooking. <laughs>